because uh, yeah, he was on Houston and he got knocked off, so he re- he retired. He retired from the game after Houston could not get him back to the World Series, and yeah, they took two tough losses against their interstate rivals, the Texas Rangers, who themselves had never won a World Series, and the only time they've been in the World Series, Texas, was 2010 and 2011. And incidentally, the manager of those teams, and he had been, all right, up until now, the only manager to lead the Texas Rangers to a World Series, Ron Washington, black man, one of the less than 20 Afro-American managers in the history of Major League Baseball, He is the winningest manager in Texas Rangers history, won more games than any other manager. The Texas Rangers have been in existence since 1972. They originally were the Washington Senators, and they moved from Washington and to Texas in 1972. So, yeah, so anyway, shout out to Ron Washington and also Tony Beasley, a Afro-American coach on that Rangers coaching staff, who has been on that coaching staff for several years now, I was able to catch up with him and interview him early in the year, as well as Ron Washington and Dusty Baker. If you want to see it, go to my YouTube channel, all right? Samori Benjamin Presents. You can see all that up there and more. And But Tony Beasley, let's hope that he can get some managerial looks, all right? He's been there for a while. He knows his baseball. He's been on that coaching staff for a while. He is the third base coach right now on the World Series representative from the American League, Tony Beasley, all right? A Virginia guy, all right? Check him out. All right, Tony Beasley, thank you so much. Rangers, third base coach, all right? The man for the job. All right, thank you so much. All right. Take care.